Hello, Red here, bringing you part 30 of the Byzantine Empire campaign. And last left off, we are basically trying to um, manage our new territory that we now have and now we're trying to use. So, we got two planets here and an extra two planets here, part of the Empire. We should cover the. Um, we had some other person here. Which are now part of us, so we pretty much need to add a new sector here for this area. So, might as well just create a new one here. And of course, we probably need to rename it to something a bit different. So, instead of naming it that, we're going to go name it, um. How about we name it, um. Spanica? Perhaps? That'd be the name for it for now. And for the moment, let's keep it at, um. I'll do some research focus on it. It's a very small population with 34 plant, uh, 34 plant size. So it's probably not going to be that big at the moment until we decide to colonize or add more stuff to it. But that's okay. In the meantime, though, we have a lot more stuff to go research, all stuff to go build upon, and a lot more armies to go and meet up. Of course, um, adding these plants to a sector now restores its um, my energy credit balance. Though it's not as high as I really wanted to, so that might actually be something I might want to change later on. Anyways, there's not much I can do at the moment to boost up more power plants. As most of my plants are now just pretty much trying to go about and um, upgrade themselves. Though one thing I might start doing is um, definitely pushing out the new Greek race a bit more. And a number of individuals belonging to the pre sentient native population of Hugiv Varada somehow got into a secure compound on the outskirts of a colony. They are chased off within hours, but not severely damaging several interstellar uplinks dedicated to currency transfers. And lots of bunch of money. Well, isn't that just nice? That's not nice at all. There we are. What we definitely need to do is start looking into what the population had here. Doing a bunch of research projects and um, surveying systems. And once we get that done, we start building upon our empire. One thing I'm definitely going to do, though, is upgrade our civilian ships so that they can actually have something to do. And, um, you know, from to build upwards. Either I'm lacking a bit of energy credit, so we'll supply with all the complete. minerals in the world. Which you have nothing really to do with them. There we go. And we do have a few observation posts to um do if you really wanted to. Convert infiltration. But we cannot do it since they're not um, good enough at the moment. System survey complete. Could also infiltrate a few of the people here. So when they grow, they can part of the empire immediately. Uh, there's no reason to do it at the moment. They can say what they are for the moment, and um, and that's about it. 
Our second Legio fleet definitely needs to upgrade. Better thrusters there. And also getting plasma thrusters too. Military wise though, how are we doing compared to planet states? Just superior. So we could actually take on a few countries if we really wanted to. Or empires. They're not devastating as before. And since our naval capacity is only about a I say a fifth of what we can actually build, we definitely could actually be the strongest nation in the galaxy so far, if we really push ourselves. Of course though, now we have plasma thrusters. And we can get impulse thrusters now. Which I think we're gonna do. It's gonna take a while, though it's definitely worth it. Meanwhile though, Neon and Tolia probably needs to maybe have something else if I could. Definitely start getting a infrastructure project on. It's not building things a bit faster now. Because I really want you to grow. Because there's so many things to actually, up to actually upgrade. It's not really funny. I think we're definitely going to do though. Perhaps build a colony ship or two. Though I do need to wonder where should I go and colonize next? Hmm. Anomaly found. Found an Opal ship yarn. I mean, we aren't really limited on what we can actually go and expand to. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. But if I were to expand somewhere. Ships upgraded. Perhaps it would not be an Arctic world. You don't even have research for it. The tropical world may actually work. An ocean one too. Are there any tropical planets out here that I can go making part of the being can be there. Upgraded. If I can talk, make him be part of the Empire. There is a tomb world. Situation log updated. This is actually a tomb world, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so if we actually get a tropical world to go colonize, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. There's not many good ones out here. The next great planet we can actually colonize is over here. For 25 and 17. Which you may just want to colonize both at the same time. So let me actually do that, actually. Let me one colony ship here. Research complete. Let me one here. Though, um... I do have a lot of different ideals that people are getting. So we'd like to try and test out how we're going to work. Let's go build three ships, send them all over here, 
and have it be its own little sector here. Something I just want to try out. Let's see how it does on its own. And we could remove some tile blockers. Though, let's try and colonize some desert worlds if we have to. System survey complete. One thing I would like to try is um anomaly found. Perhaps if I go and start to build upwards within our empire, perhaps I can do complete. a lot of work here. Do you actually have a continent world here? Definitely just add that to the empire. They are actually tied a lot, so no, it actually wouldn't really work out that much. Never mind. And a small aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Regal the Fourth. It appears to be self-sufficient, and the remains of several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other with the downloading all the d data from the downloads limited data banks. Well, that's a very nice, not very good thing to do. I'll tell you that. Regardless, though, interesting data indeed. We do have an employment somewhere over here, which perhaps means that um, an extra power plant for you. I should probably min mineral silo. Anything else? An upgrade an energy here. And you can have to build some more mineral, mineral networks here. And how are we doing on food? Debris analyzed. Too good, so let's open the power plant there. Survey complete. There's more than enough food here. And there we go. And you over there. Looks like New Macadon has nothing to do. How sad. Okay, so if you decide to actually go and fight one of these states or empires. Who do you actually want to go and fight? We do have the hegemony of nearby Droll. It seems fairly powerful. Though they actually have equivalent fleet power compared to ours. So... If we go and attack them, even though they have superior technology, we should be fine. Though on the other hand, you are a bit more of a um, 
I'm person to fight. Regardless though. Let's get all the transports all together. So we can amass on Death Fleet. And waste lots of minerals doing nothing with them. Some pieces made for someone. Very well. And all of the colony ships are almost done. So we can see what we can do with them. Someone had someone then the pins revoked. Construction complete. Hmm. And there we go, all of our colony ships are done. Or a colony ship's done. The Valhalla. Very good name there. And let's start colonizing a few planets here. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. This will be our great experiment. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. We do have maxed out influence and small. I really don't know what to do with it. Kinda wish Neon Telia would be. Can I do anything with Neon Telia actually? Complete. Not too much. Though I suppose we'll just uh, use content on it before. Extra energy credits. That's for you. Have you go down here actually? So you can research that system and then have you down here so you can see what resources we have available. Definitely not redo. And why cannot I upgrade you? Like level 5. It's rather odd. I do wonder if there's a link to um, Planetary Capital. We can only upgrade to there, can we not do anything else with that? No idea. Hey, well. Debris analyzed. And regardless. Use all of our science ships to do something. Let's start building a few battleships in our empire. Because there's one person I want to get rid of. Perhaps be all friends or enemies in the south here. So uh, let's upgrade our spaceports to the best they can be. There we 
go. And um, have unemployment here. Might as well build power hub, I suppose. But in the meantime, though, complete. I have to call that part here. So I'll see you next part when we start thinking about preparing for war once more against a certain hive mind and make sure that the Byzantines have a nice space to move about and um, expand. So, have to see you then. And goodbye.